Today's the big day, huh? You pups, just wait till I get my clothes on and get a cup of coffee. Sure gonna be quiet around here without you little ones. Oh, today we get our own kid. Yeah, and I want a boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What do I want a boy for? What's a boy? Are you kidding? Boys throw sticks and we go fetch them. I want a boy I can play fetch with. Not me. I want a little girl who dress me up in doll clothes and make me smell nice with perfume. Yuck! That's, that's gross. gross! What do you want? I want a boy, too. Any kind of boy. Tall one, short one, a round one, even a square one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, children. Better get ready. They'll be coming soon. Children, now everybody look your best. Let's get one who wanted a girl to dress her up in dolls, clothes, and perfume. Well, look on the bright side, Sonny. The next boy that comes is definitely yours. Yeah, I never thought of that. Come on inside, Sonny. You'll catch cold. Do I have to? What if a boy comes along and I don't see him? Looks like there aren't enough boys to go around. That can't be. Well, we have to be realistic. I don't want to be realistic. I want a boy of my own. I know that, sweetheart. But you've got a good home with regular meals. Oh, Mom. You know I need a boy of my own, like the other guys, to grow up with and to sleep at the top of the bed and help him eat all the stuff he doesn't like. I know, son. Just be patient. I'm sure one of these days you'll find one just right for you. One of these days. That could be forever. And who wants a grown-up puppy? Maybe if I went to the city, I could find a boy. Yeah, I've heard there's lots of boys there, on every street. Bye, Mom. And don't worry. I'll take good care of myself. When I'm in the neighborhood, I promise to bark. not so different from home, except you get a stiff neck from looking at all the buildings. Ooh, that was close. That lucky dog, a boy on a bike. The roof. Here's another building on the roof. He's getting rich, and I'm getting flat feet. Hot dog, here's my chance. Hey, mister, I heard what you said about your big, flat feet, and I know how to get rid of them. How's that? Just give me your boy. Give you my boy? Are you nuts? I'm his best friend. What would he do without me? I really didn't want a boy on a bike anyways. I didn't mean to bother you, 
but I was wondering if you'd like to give your boy away. That's okay, fella. Who wants to go riding in a car? <clears throat> Not me. Golly, looking for a boy sure makes you awful tired and hungry. Oh, boy, something smells great. Wow, I've never seen so much food in my whole life. Maybe there's some scraps around back. Now remember, at exactly 10 o'clock, the bus boy comes out to dump the garbage. When he does, I'll grab the ribs and you get the chickens. Got it? Don't worry. I'll handle my part. Who's there? Just, just me. I, I was just, just looking for some scraps. Do you think he heard us? I don't know. But we can't take any chances. Oh. Uh, honest, I didn't hear you say you were going to rob this place. <laughs> He knows what's good for him. He won't be causing us any trouble. Come on. It's almost 10 o'clock. I don't like those two, but I still gotta try to stop them before they get themselves into real trouble. It won't do you any good. Who's that? Just your fellow roommates. Guests of the Howlin' Hilton. Right, gang? <laughs> I said cat. They call me the Duke. But, but what is this place? For a dog, it's the end of the line. Old Popoff sells us, and there's no coming back. Alive. Mm. Say, you don't look like no street dog like us. What's your name, kid? I don't have a name yet. You see, I've been looking for a boy of my own. And when I find one, he'll give me a name. Oh, not that old stuff, kid. Safety, security. Love, affection, and a feeling of belonging. You want to bring him his slippers, right? Oh, yeah. You know it. For what? A pat on the head? A stomach scratch? A crumb? You want to go through your whole life with a mouthful of slipper? 
What you say is true, Duke. You have to give. But you also get in return. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> you bring back fond memories of my home, my master. He raced me in the big time, fed me filet mignon every night. But then, that day came that all greyhounds dread. The legs went. I couldn't bear it. So one night when my master was asleep, I ran away. Gee, I really think you made a big mistake. Oh, true, words were never spoken. And if we get out of here, I'm heading home. Me too. Van Dien say put one more bow on me. Or talk with that baby talk. I hit the road again, huh? Zoot! Not me. When I find a home, I'm never gonna leave. Ah, uh, but what's the use? We'll never get out of here. And I'll never find a boy of my own. Now, what gave you that idea? But you said... No matter what I said, it's what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do is bust out of this joint tonight. Are you with us? Wow! You bet! <laughs> Guys coming down there. Ach, der Lieber! Every five seconds, how is it coming down there? How is it coming down there? Keep your fur on. We be out in a couple of minutes. Okay, kid, get rid of the dirt. Oh, what's going on in there? Uh oh. <laughs> What's in the dish? A uh, puppy chow. I brought it with me. Mmm. Mmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, kid. That cat's nothing but trouble. Now, let's get back to work. You guys keep a sharp eye out for that feline fink. That's it! Okay, kid. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Well, we made it, kid. I'll see you around. I want to go with you. I travel alone. I always have and I always will. Hey, what do you want to hang around with me for? Now that I know what the world is like, well, maybe I just wasn't meant to have a boy. Sure you are. I thought you said that was dumb. It is, but it's what you want. And if there's something you want, you have to go after it. Even if it's hard? Especially if it's hard. If you don't, you'll be disappointed in yourself the rest of your life. I'm gonna do it, Duke. Go on, get going. Remember, if anybody gives you any trouble, look them in the eye and stand your ground. I'm gonna miss that kid. All right, Richie, you look around until you find a dog you'd like to take home. Did I hear right? Or does some boy want a dog? Just my luck. He's looking for a toy dog, and I'm sure no toy. But then again, I am a dog. 
Anything's worth a try. I want this dog, Mommy. I want this dog. We'll take this one. An excellent choice, madam. He's one of our best. Why, this isn't a toy dog. He's a real dog. Now off you go. Shoo, shoo. Look him in the eye and stand your ground. I guess I'll, I'll never, ever find a boy. Come in and eat your dinner, Tommy. I'm not hungry. Can you tell me what's wrong? I just feel lonely. As soon as you get to know the other boys, you'll feel more at home. They all have their own friends, and I don't have anyone. Cute little puppy. A puppy, I found me a puppy. Isn't he cute? Let me pet him. I sure hope we can keep him. Miss Miller, can I keep him? He looks tired and hungry. Please? Oh, Tommy, I don't know. We, we get so little money. Barely enough to feed all the boys. We can share. I'll give him some of my food. Me too. So will I. We all will. Yay! All right, all right. <laughs> well, if we're going to keep a puppy, you'll have to give him a name. I want to call him Petey. What do you think? How about Rex? Fido. Sam. Thor. Flippy. <laughs> What's it going to be, Tommy? What's his name? Petey. And Rex? Sam? Fido, Thor, Fluffy, Tuffy, and Miller. But I'm going to call you Petey. Uh -huh. 